shout out to executive producer Christina Jones, who's sponsoring Community Reactions. Her insight and breakdowns are next level, and she has helped our channel out plenty of times. Check out Black Girl Couch Reviews Podcast, a solo talk, unfiltered recap of your favorite TV shows, geared to make you laugh. Link to the podcast is in the video description below. Be sure to check it out. Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for The Expanse. Season 5, Episode 5. Yes, we got executive producer Christina Jones coming back to comment on Episode 4, saying, this is the one I've been waiting for, for and your reaction did not disappoint. Hands down, one of the best episodes of the season, if not series. Yeah. Fred shot in the back by the people he spent his life atoning to. That's yeah. some heartbreaking-ish right there. Yeah, that's just as he walked, Just as he was watching to, uh, to act actualization of his dreams. The Radical Dolls and he reconciled their ideas for what was best, but even season one, uh, it was always a precarious one fraught with one that would always see Anderson as the butcher. Fred Anderson. Mm -hmm. However, he was an inner whose possession of a weapon allowed the belt a seat at the table, and that is the why behind it all, Jay. Earth and Mars respectfully created their own nuclear bomb in Marco by choosing to continue their cycle of Belter oppression. Not only did they decimate their bread basket, but they and their children were made lab rats for the protomolecule tests. None of this at all justifies Marco's homicidal asteroid throwing, but no repercussion were felt. No re reparations made. Hell, they left them refugees. Not even a public statement of apology, and on top of that, Belters saved the Inner's whole home planets from their own shitstorms that they devised. Yeah. It's enough to make even the rational seethe. The emotionally intelligent know how to capitalize and rise above the actions of few now and entire race. Marco isn't emotionally, isn't emotionally intelligent. He's an emotionally abusive narcissist who's been watching his ex and her inners save the world and become heroes of the belt. All under this united people's banner with calculated rage and maybe a touch of envy. I found it fascinating instead of watching the chaos on earth, he watches Naomi's expression Foolish still to think she'd look upon his actions with anything but horror, but even after 15 years, maintain this is still their dream. I hate his beautiful face, and he is a fantastic villain. It's hard not to watch his Machiavellian, I, don't, I probably messed that all up, but ways uh, because he's charismatic too, and that's the trap. The trap that keep women with their terrible men. Mm. Naomi hissing at her son like a wounded animal and the way she begged him to unlock the door. You just know this isn't the first time Marco has locked her in a room. Oh, so sad. Back to yeah, Marco. Why not That's why she escaped. Back to Marco and his crazy obsessive but <clears throat> manical ass. Guagamela is the name of Alexander the Great's decisive battle against the Persians that required a stupidly outrageous plan. Pella is the name of where Alexander the Great's capital of Macedonia. Can we take some guesses as to who Marco fancies himself? Also, why is that ship pretty much a delicate of the Ro uh, Rossi just newer? He's so petty. And planning this whole attack on the anniversary of when he blew up the Augustin Gamora with Naomi's code, me thinks Philip brought his kryptonite on board as she's the only one with a cult dog lifted. Mm. Alex, you ruined your marriage, not the Navy. You ain't slick, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how James would feel, RJ, about the person who tried to kill him and framed him for murder on the ship. Mm. Um... Great comment as always, Christina. Then we have executive produced, uh, producer Lisith coming through yeah. to say, I loved your reaction to this amazing episode. How they took out Fred was shocking, and I didn't see it coming so early in the season. Yeah. And the manner they took him out was so disrespectful. Also, UN secretary and all the people who are the UN secretary and all the people who ignored Chrissy got what they deserved. Also, Amos visiting Clarissa uh, Mayo was unexpected, but I'm glad the writers are exploring their relationship. Marco is a master tech tactician and he's slowly earning my respect as a show's best villain we have seen in all seasons nah. i totally agree yeah um yeah. i found it hilarious that after three rocks hit earth admiral stupid is now admitting that he could have and should have done more to prevent admiral the attacks stupid. is he serious if yeah. i was chrissy i would lock his ass up also rj calling earth swiss cheese after the attacks had me dying i can't wait for the Excellent. Hey man, I stay on my toes out here in these streets. I'd be clever. <laughs> All right, we got a couple comments from you two, uh, starting with Kirk Darling, who says, Amos said to Clar Clarissa, people like us. He had said that to Murtry too, considering them and himself to be killers. He considers Clar 
Clarissa is essentially a killer as he considers himself. But is she really? Her childhood was nothing like his. Seriously, how much of a true killer can a socialite turn into on her own? Uh, the writers, Ty and Daniel, have confirmed that Chief Casey is a reference to Steven Seagal as Chief Casey in Under Siege. Mm -hmm. Too bad he bought the fam along with Nancy Gow. Uh, then we have James Holland coming through just simply to say great reaction and analysis. Um, all right, well, let's get to episode five. Thank you guys, as always, for those comments. Yeah. Keep those coming. Um, about to be some drama. And let's get to this right now. Fucking a shot Fred Johnson dead. That boy looked dead. Floating. <laughs> you died, you died, you died so slow in space, man. Damn. That is super dramatic. You get yeah. pop, 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 but you don't even fall. You just... <laughs> You can't even walk around on. No, they can't even be dramatic. I mean, it's kind of like slow motion. Well, all right, let's just get out of dramatic. here. Yeah, it's like, but it ain't gonna be like shocking. Like, ah, it's just. All right, let's go. I mean, I guess he's just gonna float there. So, okay. <laughs> can't even bust in the door. It's fucking all space shit. It's all thing floating. Yeah. <laughs> See, ain't no busting, dude. You gotta <laughs> move with the gravity. Or lack thereof. Or lack thereof. Now, this, this will be breaking her heart. You should uh, go. Naomi's already. Better to be together in a moment like this. She's with Marco, though. All right. We are prepared to dock. thought I would see this. I read they were dancing in the corridors of Ceres and Phallus. I don't believe that. Dear has no belief in it. Old Belters are the same to them. You think they will come after us? At a minimum, after this, every inner ship and station will be on high alert. They will restrict traffic. Business just got harder. This isn't about business anymore. All Belters will have to answer for Marco's deeds now. Maybe it was inevitable. Frank Johnson didn't believe that. I heard he was a good man. For another. He was a good man. Period. Yeah, that's Marco's last name, babe. I saw your message when the comm buffer. Did not mean to it just happened. But you have to tell them. Maybe this means a future without Earth's boot on our neck. Can't be sad about that. Yeah, there's never shed tears for us. Hey! Hey, stuck dude. in there? Man, we dead. Oh, okay. Are you alright? So far. What the hell happened? Good question. Open the door. I can't do that. <sighs> oh, shit. Brain must have buckled. I'm gonna go find help. Fuck that! There's already cracks in the foundation. This place will come crashing down any minute. Just pull. <laughs> Ooh, I can almost squeeze through there. I can almost squeeze. I'm squeezing through there. Yeah. I'm squeezing through there. I think they're gonna get all the way up. Peaches, let's go. You're not going anywhere. Wrong. Oh my god. We're in lockdown. Inmates remain in place until we hear from upstairs. Until? You still haven't heard anything. No, not yet. That's because you're responsible all dead. for my safety. I am making myself responsible for her. And not the <laughs> murder. It doesn't work like that, people. I got lights! So, first of all, if we let you out, would you come down? So? What's new? Come on, stop this About 11 hours. He should be all right to do it. Do what? Open up the door. This is it. This. Can you open it? Well, I know you. Naomi, please respond. 
the moment you got this. I need to know that you're okay. Come on, I couldn't just let her do that. I had I give you an order to do anything other than stand outside this fucking door. She wouldn't stop smiling at me. I thought a lesson You don't get paid to think, right? So stop fucking trying because you fucking suck at it. What the hell's going on here? Are you guys beating her up? I'm sorry, you need some tea. You hear what they get done, okay? You knocked out the comms to prevent threat from jettisoning the sample. Mm, you're not so dumb as you look. How did you know about the vault? They gave you the specs. Where's the guy with no neck? And he says that the love tabs didn't bore me. No one's gonna come save you. Due process on this station is what I say it is. I'll feed you to the mushrooms one finger at a time. And I'll eat them in front of you. It doesn't have to go that far. Do what you need to, Otta. You're not going to change what happened. Or what we're about to. You think that killing Freddy people are going to take over now? Or you make that happen exactly? You're going to get to see soon. Help us recover the sample and find Marco and Naros. We might be able to work out a deal. You're wasting air to see what. Funny thing, I kind of like Fred. Who else are you working with at this station? Which station do you mean? Oh, she is cold blooded. There are so many. There are so many of us. Tell me what you know. Tell me. You should probably send my first finger to the recycler on level five. The 108 needs a full rebuild. I don't get it. Biometric locks. Okay. I need you to sink one here and here. Hey, kid. Just do it. You guys are not being helpful at all. <laughs> The maintenance ladder's back there. Makes sense they'd seal it behind these plates. Keep anyone from climbing out. Tiny, come here. You should stop calling me that. See if you can pull this open. What does he call him, Tiny? Is that what he said? I thought it said a fanny. No, he came, really? You Calibrating the scrubbers. Humidity set, set for dust is uh, waste more water than it has to. You know, Martian tech. Wanna help? What do you think is going to happen? You kidnap me. We'll start working together like old times, and everything will be the way it was. Look, I'm sorry. Just trying to take your mind off of things. I always thought, no, I hoped that you would be there for me. That there was still enough good in you to make him more like you and not like his father. Michael, stop calling me that. You let Marco poison your heart and Phillips, and I will never forgive you for that. We had to do it. Did you forget? They make us thirst for water. They make us gasp for air. The Innes will never share the bounty from the new ones. And we can't go claim that for ourselves. You know that better than anyone. I saw it on the field. Because she can't, because they can't function on the planet. You know what's funny? I'm more important than you. We got two guns between us, and only one of me. Just shut up and do your job. What if I say no? Tiny! 
Stop screwing around and we'll throw you off this thing and come up with a plan B after. Just fucking around. <laughs> oh, I'm tight. That's because nobody knows what's really going on. So, you know, they, they just bullshit. It's over. Let's just keep... Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh! Oh! He dead, dead now. That's how you do it. Fuck you, God. You missed the gas. Shut up. What if I kill you, Marco, and the other motherfucker and take my son with me? How about that? Since y'all led me so close. They're just lucky it's not covered up and they can't get, you know, like it's actually, they can climb out. I feel it again. It's beautiful. Yeah. What do we do now? At the ground level? That doesn't seem like it. No. What the fuck? She just Spider Man out of that bitch? I'm still in contact with the mayor. 
got every scope that Ty could spare sweep in your flight plan. He must have run it. Well, you don't see the change when you're with him. Day by day, it's only a little bit. Things been his ass. I guess. I feel like that'd be so ridiculous. Yeah, how are you gonna hide that book? Tell me something. Yeah. Huh? Did Marco slip the Augustin Gamara code into the Rossi? <laughs> <laughs> She got from her son saying I saved your life. Where is she? There's no location to Ah! That's what she got from He her. almost died! Yeah. He thought she was gonna die. Now she gotta go to jail. I have the right to know. Tell me! Tell me what happened! Tell me what happened! They always gonna lose her ever loving mine. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's why you attacked your one eye lie. <laughs> she needed the easiest way to grab his phone. But now she has no allies. No. And that's why she made the face, because she realized what they were doing. Yeah. Shit. Oh, I saved your life. Mm, I mean, you got Time to do your stuff, fly boy. Try not to get spotted. He's for you to say. Oh my god. Like literally holding him with died. Yeah. I mean, we didn't know though until the last minute. I think I got something. It's not a back eh? That's a belt of shit. That's the belt. Alright. I'm gonna try to break his lock. Back to it! I would be so sick. I'd be just throwing up everywhere. That's super cool though. They... Oh, it just ends like that? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, that was an amazing episode 5-5 five, five of The Expanse. And it was a whole bunch of tension and drama going on right there. We got some cat and mouse Game of Thrones, like y'all said, all day long going on on this show. And I'm here for all of it. It's just getting better and better, man. I mean, I, I, I just love it right now. It, it is really, really entertaining. Um... Naomi, I don't know how she's going to get out of this situation. It is very tough. I, I, I don't know. We're going to have to do a rescue or something. She's going to have to find some ally, which is probably going to be her son, to give her some kind of edge to take over this ship, help out, or escape. I don't know. But I can't wait to see how that's going to pay off. But I'm glad she saved Holden at the very end. And what happened to damn Alex and um, 
Um, Bobby. Bobby. Because they just going to be floating. Man, it's just everybody everywhere now. And then even on Earth, it's just a whole... It's it's a lot going on, but I'm here for all of it. A great episode, man. I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, this is definitely like the uh, Infinity War setup. Like, all of our chips are down. We are all losing. Yeah. We need to have some type of something come through like so that we game. can... Yeah, an end game kind of setup. Um, so just to speak on each story, just briefly... Amos, I absolutely love the Clarissa and Amos segment of the, the episode as far as, like, them trying to get out of the jail. I thought the Tiny thing was hilarious. I thought the way Amos took out Tiny was fucking crazy as fuck. <laughs> um, so I, that whole thing, and now I'm so, like, worried <laughs> that Amos is going to be stuck on Earth forever because, like, there's nothing around here. Like, everything's completely destroyed, so I don't know how that plays out. They don't have any really resources available to them so I think they all just should have stuck with the the cop lady because at least she knows the area you know like yeah, I don't know true. so um yeah. I'm I have no idea where that storyline is going because they seem just stranded and off in the cut and like I don't see how that plays out um which is like makes it seem it's going to take even for much longer for him to get re reunited with the crew um as far as the they only plot device and that whole segment. I didn't even. I don't know if we were supposed to know what was going on earlier on in the episode, as far as like the them having infiltrated the Rossi. Um, because I know I thought we did hear comments, but I did not pick that up was on the it. Comments, yeah, yeah that was I didn't comments. pick up on to it literally until Naomi was trying to save Holden, and thank God she did because I was like, why would you? Uh, destroy your one solid contact, but that was the only solid close person she get close enough in order to steal his phone. So it totally mm -hmm. makes sense in retrospect. Um, but now she's definitely isolated. Now n no one trusts her, and that was going to be Marco's again the his ability and his skill set of being a master manipulator is just on show every single time he's on screen yeah. um and even this to take holden out so that he can completely demoralize and traumatize naomi would have been something so up his alley yeah. and uh the, the 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 belter girl that they were interviewing too like her tenacity to Today give zero am. fucks was Today so am. crazy like goddamn um, yes, and it'll be yes, interesting to see. I'm, I am really excited. We only got like the introduction of the idea of Drummer going to meet Marco and how that plays out. Like she's obviously committing to it, but what does that mean? Yeah. Is she going to get in contact with Holden? Are they going to come up with a plan? I don't know how that plays out, yeah. but like that's on the board. That's still happening. That'll be a way to potentially like gain favor or gain, create a plan where we could get the upper hand. And then with, uh, with, um, um, what was the last thing I was going to Oh, yeah, with Alex and, uh, Bobby, it's so frustrating because they have all this intel now that they couldn't send out to Chrissy, so, like, hopefully, maybe now that they've disconnected and they're kind of just spiraling out in, in the abyss, so to speak, um, because now they don't have their core, they're not, I'm assuming that means they can't operate the, the spaceship, mm -hmm. And I'm assuming that means they're going to die um, if they don't get rescued. Yeah. I don't know what it all means, but those are just my assumptions. But maybe now that they're disconnected and they're not on target and they maybe they assume they killed them because of the blast, um, they're, they're able to get the messaging out and somebody can come and help them. Because that's really solid. Yeah. I mean, this shows the level of depth of some of the things that they've been investigating to tie the pieces together as well. Mm -hmm. So... Solid episode. Yeah, a lot. Uh, very high, mm -hmm. I think to your point, definitely high tension. Like, what is happening yeah. and where is this going? But this is like hands down my favorite season. Yeah, I love all the surprises. It's amazing. Yeah. It's so good. So can't wait for more. Yep. All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for The Expanse, Season 5, Episode 5. And until next time, people, peace.